Michael, Tanya, welcome to Coffee Country and Cody all over the world on WSM Radio and Circle Television as we get ready for the Academy of Country Music Awards and something very, very special is going on with <laughs> the war and treaty. <laughs> so good to see you again. Hello, Bill. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Dirk Bentley is going to figure prominently <laughs> in your life, I understand. And this is a throwback. I'm going to let you tell the story. And if you could, you maybe could spill the beans about the venue because we talk about the Ryman and the Opry House and the Bluebird is a part of the, the shows, the venues for the Academy of Country Music. But you're doing something even different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well, well um, thank you for the, the opportunity. And, and in 2018, uh, we were asked by the Country Music Hall of Fame to uh, come help induct uh, country music sweetheart Dottie West mm -hmm. and we sang her 1979 hit Lessons in Leaving and that evening Dirks was there as well inducting the bluegrass phenom Ricky Skaggs and it was a powerful night and powerful connections were made and one of those connections was Dirks Bentley and the Warren Treaty and we were so honored and then he invited us to come perform at his festival in Colorado called Seven Peaks and then when the pandemic hit uh, we stayed close. We would talk to each other and check on each other. Um, and like I said before, not as colleagues or fellow artists, but as fellow Americans experiencing the same thing at the same time. And a couple of weeks back, Dirks was doing his little check-in and, and he said, uh, hey man, um, why don't you and Tanya come and uh, if you want to do this sort of thing, perform on the HCM Awards with me. <laughs> and you know i, I kind of wanted to just throw something at him it, it, what do you mean if we want to do this sort of thing <laughs> you know that award show sort of thing tanya yeah, that, that award show. <laughs> yeah. but yeah. baby you could tell him about the um the, the situation here what we're doing, yes we I'm, have a situation yeah, yeah. we have I a situation when they, when they leave this interview going, oh, my goodness, I'm so happy I saw them on Coffee Country and Cody and heard that here first, maybe. Yeah, we're just we're so excited to do the song Pride by U2, which Derek's has recorded before. And he's done it with the Punch Brothers as well as Derek, uh, Dale McCurry. Dale McCurry. Dale McCurry. Yeah, the, the, the legend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we just are just fortunate and grateful to be, you know, that, that Dirk's called us to be a part of this moment. You know, it's just... It's just so surreal. <laughs> it really is. Now, do yeah. you know the uh, original U2 version of this oh, song? Oh, yes. Probably yes. the name of You're familiar with that? Yes. Okay. Right. I'm a huge U2 fan. <laughs> yes, we are. Yeah. Yes, we are. <laughs> By the way, you look like uh, you could be in a starring role in a major motion picture on the life of, like, Dinah Washington. Oh, because <laughs> I love Dinah Washington. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I always say I was born too late. <laughs> I love well, that era. <laughs> you can bring it back. I mean, you there you go. going on. Oh, you just... <laughs> just drop that gorgeous there oh this thank morning. you <laughs> and uh, the uh this the two words hearts town your new album which you know do you recommend releasing an album in the midst of a pandemic is that something that you would suggest to other artists <laughs> <laughs> you know um it, it it for me it all depends on the kind of spirit you have behind it yeah i think that tanya and i uh we we, we did it and we wanted to put some goodness out and you know a, a shout out to WSM because WSM actually played the entire record um, on air and, and we were just in tears the entire time. So, <laughs> you know, um, I, I feel that we did the right thing and we're, we're proud of it. Yeah. And where does the title, the title had a very specific meaning, special meaning to you, Hearts Town. Yeah, we wanted to create a place, you know, from touring, we are like mind, like minded people, we started running into people who just wanted to be accepted and just wanted love and didn't want to have to deal with all the things that yeah. we're dealing with as a as a country not run away from it. But we wanted a place that was safe to even have hard conversations. So we created Hearts Town, which is a, a community on Facebook <laughs> as well, where we're always talking about different things, you know, anything we talk about it and it's a safe place so that's a, that's Hearthstown. and so is the station in which is the venue for your performance with Dirk right. Bentley on the academy right. of country music Awards. That's i wouldn't right. mention that i mean if, if bluegrass had a Ryman auditorium or a grand old opera that's stage, right it would certainly be the station that's right, in. Well, that's, right. <laughs> that's where dirks worked on his chops in the early days while he's rest in peace on. jt yeah yeah absolutely and dirks uh meanwhile was working in the mail room just across the parking lot. From I the love Grand it. Old I Opry, love those stories. The Nashville <laughs> Network Building. Uh, Michael and Tanya, the War and Treaty. Thank you so much for joining us on Coffee Country and Cody this morning. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.